25 times more gas efficient than the number one high mileage hybrid on the market. BYU engineering students designed and built a car you were going to want to take a look at. Reporter Daniel Kellis tells us more. The mechanical engineering capstone team at BYU has done it again. The team just got back from Michigan where they competed in the Society of Automotive Engineers International Super Mileage Challenge. They were awarded second place overall, barely falling short of Penn State, who finished with a slightly higher score in design. The car was built from the ground up using everyday parts. So this car is almost entirely from scratch. We started with a regular lawnmower engine, but we've modified it a lot at this point to try and make it more efficient. We get bicycle wheels and then we rip them apart and put new bearings in and try and get the best rolling resistance that we can. Coming from just bike tires and lawnmower engines, the car has become quite the machine. This is the Motorsports Lab, where the Capstone team spent nine months building the car. The super mileage car isn't the first car to come back to this garage with national recognition. This all-electric car set a land speed record in 2011 of 150 miles an hour. With a successful pass behind them, BYU did, however, beat Penn State and the rest of their competitors in fuel efficiency. Their car got 1,330 miles per gallon. That's like driving from Salt Lake City, Utah to St. Louis, Missouri on a single gallon of gasoline. Luckily, the engineers don't have to drive that far to calculate miles per gallon. We measure miles per gallons by racing 10 miles and recording a 10 mile run. And we weigh our fuel bottle before we start and then we weigh it again after. So we know how much fuel was used to go 10 miles. And then knowing those numbers, we can calculate what our uh, fuel economy, what our mileage was. We do something called the burning coast method. So we turn the car on and accelerate and then just cut the engine and coast for as long as you can and then do it again. We only use about 20 grams of fuel, which is about 20 paper clips. So this is how big our fuel bottle is. Um, it only holds a little amount of fuel, but we don't need much to go for our distances that we're planning on going. Members of the team feel that this is a very important feature when it comes to today's economy. I think it's a really good project because it brings awareness to the fact that we do have the technology to get really high mileage. I mean, most people's cars don't get even 100. And like, if we went to the competition and got like anything less than 500, we would be really embarrassed. I've been noticing recently that a lot of shift in industry has been to higher fuel economy rather than faster cars or more powerful cars. Um, just due to the financial situation of the world, people want to spend less on gas. And so the fuel economy becomes much more important. As incredibly efficient as this little car is, it's definitely not built for doing your grocery shopping or taking your kids to soccer practice. It's just big enough to fit one person inside laying down. We usually go between 10 and 25 miles per hour. The car's extremely slow average speed and its small space are all part of what makes it so gas efficient. The idea is to get the best gas mileage that we can. So you actually get better gas mileage if you're going slower. So we only drive about 15 miles an hour on average. Yeah, you can say that the tortoise and the hare story is relevant to our team because we're not the hare, this is definitely a tortoise car. We go very slow. Your Olympic sprinter could probably beat this car in a race. <laughs> At the end of the super mileage race, the team is pleased with their results. Two members of the team are going on to work for Ford, and driver Caroline Sorensen is on her way to grad school at MIT. Daniel Kellis, BYU Weekly.